Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another Factions Let's Play episode. Guys, today I am recording with Big Daddy Mark. Okay, stop, stop, this, stop. Is what, this is where you say hi. There you go. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, the Pelotor is in the call as well, but he's, he's kind of just chilling right now. He just got on. Hello. All right, so uh, I'm going to give Big Daddy Mark's uh, viewers wanted to see an overview of our Iron Golem Far, uh, Iron Golem Farm. And uh, we're, so we're going to do a little overview. I did expand this farm today just so it would fit a couple more spawners in and make it more efficient. And we're basically going to be describing that. So I'm going to give myself slash fly and then slash fly to Big Daddy as well just so we can move around a lot easier and show you guys how we made everything. All right, so let's uh, start it off here. Let's go into the hole that we made. We'll start it off by going through here. So our AFK pool is basically right in the middle of our entire farm. It kind of cuts down the efficiency of the iron golem farm, like the iron golem spawners around it. But overall, your farm is going to be a lot more efficient if you can obviously get more iron golem spawners to spawn out of that specific area. So if you guys want, you guys can try to make your spawner right in the center or you guys can do it on the outside. It's really up to you, however much space you guys are able to put into your spawner. So just keep that in mind. And then also, what you're going to want to do is whenever wherever you decide to have your roof, you're going to want your first iron golem spawner row to be two blocks above or two box two blocks below where the roof is. So if you guys can see here, I could if I to put two blocks here, it'll be right on in line with the roof right over here. So there's two blocks above every single spawner, and that's basically the same dimensions throughout the entire spawner region. You're basically going to try to have at least two blocks in between the walls and the uh, and each of the spawners. Uh, I did mess up a little bit here on my calculations. If you guys can look over here, so this is only one one space wide here. So that probably means it cuts down the efficiency a little bit. But overall, this farm is pretty efficient. I'm just really, really too lazy, honestly, to just fix that. So hopefully, hopefully you guys will forgive us. Uh, so that's basically all you have. You guys have to remember. For when you guys are placing your spawners so try to place the least amount of blocks as you can and obviously if you have a roof just place it two below and you guys won't even need slabs so another quick thing to remind you guys um the slabs do cut down the the spawner rates a little bit just like just a little bit but it makes a big difference if you have such a massive farm like we have on in our uh f home so guys keep that in mind and uh, so another another quick reminder: Did you just fall into the yeah. water? <laughs> You're burning. Ah, I'll put you out. Don't worry. I'll put you out. It, it, I'll put you I'm out. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ah, 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 there you go. All right. <laughs> I was trying to push the iron golem down. I actually fell down with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Another quick thing that you guys might want to note is you guys notice how I have like about ten blocks of space, Big Daddy. If you want to come down here and take a look you guys have about 10 there's about 10 blocks of space i'm still inside dude oh sorry <laughs> there's about 10 blocks of space between the lowest level and the the first level of lava so this is this there's a reason for this and it's because um since the iron golem spawner block is high enough it doesn't have to count the lava blocks as a possible spawning point and it basically makes the efficiency of that spawner a lot more higher. So if you guys, I've noticed that a lot of iron golem farms that I'm making signs for, like if you guys take a look at where I placed this glass, you guys have the spawner like literally right on top of where the, the what's it called, where the lava is. So like so, let me break these two first. So you guys will like place your block or your spawner right above where the lava is. Oh God, I just fell in the fire. <laughs> oh god, put Twins. me out! Put me out! I got you, buddy. Put I got you. <laughs> go, go, go. Grab the water. Grab, don't grab the water. It's going to turn don't it into a city. Don't grab it. <laughs> don't grab it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> all right, all right. So, yeah, basically, don't put it right above the lava, guys. This makes it a lot less efficient and it makes the spawner have to check a lot less or a lot more spots. Um,. A lot more spots in between each of the spiders. Hold on, I got a text message. 
And so basically, yeah, just keep that in mind, guys. Try not to put the spawners right above the lava as that does cut down the spawn rates. Put it at least five blocks above the lava, or if you guys have enough room, put it even higher. As you guys can see, we have about 10, 15 blocks here. So just remember that. <clears throat> and yeah, that's basically it uh, for the actual spawner portion. So let's take a look. Let's fall into the lava mark. Ready? Three, two, one. I'm not going to eat a god apple because I don't want to. I'm going to eat one because I might die. <laughs> All right. So as you guys can see here, this is the lava layer. And uh, I'm safe down here because of the way that the lava blade is set up. So if uh, wherever you guys are, wherever you guys are placing your hoppers. So as you guys can see, the hopper system is right below our feet. You're going to want to put a sign. If you go to the wall, you guys can see it. You're going to want to put a sign one above where, or two above basically, where the hoppers are. And what that'll do is it'll stop the lava from flowing on top of you and it'll it'll make a basically a free layer where you can walk around safely in case you do ever fall into the lava pit when you're setting your spawners. So it makes it, makes it so that the since the iron golem uh, entities are three blocks tall, their blocks or their head will basically still be on fire. So then they'll be killed instantly well not instantly but slowly and then they safely drop their items down into the hoppers below without a chance of getting it burned so keep that in mind when you guys are making your hopper system and uh the only way i can't i can't really show you how to uh make this hopper system because it's already fully done but we can go outside and i'll show you i'll try to show you guys the bottom portion of the farm all right mark let's go to the go to the chests outside where we actually collect stuff all right, so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna break a couple of these blocks to show you guys how to uh, set this up. <clears throat> or actually, we can go go to the top floor of our chest, Mark. I don't know why, but I can't fly right now. <laughs> you can't fly? Fly, big daddy. Oh God, I Could turned on I, I turned on fly for yeah, somebody hold else. Hold I'm gonna go home <laughs> top real quick. All right, there you go. I, I let you fly. There you go. All right, cool, cool, cool. That's fine. Alright, I'm waiting for you here. What the heck? <clears throat> oh, there we go. Alright, I'm right over now here. Now I have special powers. Yes. Oh my god, Pella, what are you doing over there? What? It's my house. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew's gonna blow that up, I bet you right now. <laughs> I'll put wood right for it. I think. <laughs> oh my, look at that. Look at that TNT house. What the heck, Pella? <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> all right anyways uh so if you guys can kind of recall when we were standing on the hopper layer this is the very bottom and as you guys can see we just have every single row of hoppers basically in a straight line feeding into the specific chest that it's pointing to so it's it's a very nice and simple system and that means that all the chests will basically get filled up evenly and all you have to do is you're going to have to shift click on each one and then just make the feeder or make the hopper point into the one that you placed before it. So you guys will have to start at the very, very bottom of the chests in the very back over there. And it's really hard to explain how hopper systems work, like how to set it up. But once you figure out how to get it to uh, to lead into each other properly, like to lead into each of the chests properly, it's not too hard. And you guys will be able to... Uh, you guys will be able to set it up pretty easily. So that's basically the overview of how to make a quick iron golem farm. And uh, that's basically all the tips that you guys need to know when you guys are building it. Um, Mark, do you have anything else you guys need to know? Anything, any other questions that they asked? Uh, no, just everyone's all curious about the hopper system. But basically, like you said, it's all leading to all these hoppers in the back and it's just filling up all the chests. Mm -hmm. So, so that's yep. basically it. Um, I'll show you guys really quickly. Let me go. Let me turn fly off. Let me go warp shop. I'm gonna buy some. Uh, let me buy some hoppers, and we can show them how to. We can show them how to line it up properly, and then let me make some chests really quickly. Uh, slash workbench. All right, I'm just making some chests. <laughs> what are you laughing at over there? Fellow's house. Home in My house is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> nice fellow. No, this house yeah. looks so dangerous. Uh, so I like to live last like that. 
Because I'm a badass. Hello, if that explodes and blows up my bottom section over there, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> That's fine. Put a layer of bedrock underneath it. Or, or not bedrock. Yeah, bedrock. Bedrock. Have. All right, so guys, basically how to set up this uh, hopper system. So if that's the hopper system up top, so let's pretend that this is the bottom hopper. All you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to take a set of hoppers in your inventory. You're going to shift click to crouch, and then you're going to click one on one just like so, and it, it'll face into the hopper. And then basically at the very, very top of my chest, it's like the very top layer chest, what you're going to want to do is... So the hopper that's connected to the chest, you're going to want to hop on top of it and basically jump and then place a hopper that leads into that last chest that points into the chest that you're collecting to. And then all you have to do now is, if you can imagine this as the row, you just have to extend it into each other like so. So however big your farm is, that's basically all you have to do for the chest system. It doesn't take too long to make. Very simple, nice and easy chest relay system to collect all your iron ingots. And there's your iron golem farm. That's basically it, Mark. Um, it's not too hard to make. It's not the hardest farm. I mean, it does cost a lot for the spawners, but once you get it started, it's very, very simple. Any other things you want to discuss? No, basic, basically touched everything that everyone was curious about. So, yeah, guys, if you guys still have any questions, make sure just to message me, and I'll try to clarify it. All right, and, and we're yeah. going gonna, gonna, to... Hold on, let me, let me do something right before we end this episode. Let me, let me go to my house real quick. Hold on. Don't end it yet. Don't end it yet, Mark. You better wait. No, well, you seriously better not blow up my TNT. You better wait. Home storage. Alright. So TP oh, Big Daddy Mark. Alright, so we're going to end this episode with a bang. Oh, no, this please, is... please don't. I spent so much time. <laughs> Do it! Do it. Oh, all right, all right, Pella, I'm gonna stand all the way over here. I'm no, gonna see no, if no, I can. No, I no. can see. I'm gonna see if I can fully arc an arrow. I'm gonna aim at the roof, arc an arrow. <laughs> you gotta shoot it, Mark. And then I'm gonna see if it'll land. Hold on, He's I need done. to do. I, I need to do a short pull. All right, ready? Here we go. No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Oh, 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 is it going? Oh, 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 no! Oh, it destroyed our staircase! <gasps> Mistakes have been made! No! <laughs> oh, God. Nice! Oh, God, I wish I could undo all that. No! <laughs> well, I guess I know what we're doing. Well, um, we're gonna be fixing that for the next... Oh, oh, my God, our entire staircase is gone! You can fix that, dude. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, dang! Our staircase oh. got destroyed! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to fix this tonight now, goddamn. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you guys will be able to make your iron golem farms nice and efficient for yourselves. Guys, we gotta fix this. <laughs> yep, I'm with you on that. Alright, uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the comment sections below if you guys have any further questions. Um, hit us up on the server if you guys have any specific questions that you guys want answered. And this is D Field, Big Dad and Mark in the Pello. And uh, Pello's mad right now because we blew up his house. And I'm kind of mad that we're going to have to fix the staircase. But yeah, we'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for <laughs> watching. Bye bye.